Hello and welcome to our video on how to set up GitFit Mining on your iOS device. You'll want to open GitFitMining.com in your browser. And when you get to the GitFit Mining website, you will scroll down to approximately the middle of the page, GitFit Mining on mobile. Next, we want to click Download on the App Store. Now this is important. When you do step one, you're going to want to come back to this page in your browser and tap Start Testing. So now let's view in the App Store so we can download Test Flight. We want to tap Get. We want to Install. And then you're going to sign in using your password. Test flight will begin downloading to your iOS device. Next, you'll tap Open. We want to Allow. And then we want to tap Continue. And you want to agree to the terms and conditions. Now, when this screen comes up ready to test, what you need to do next is Swipe halfway up and then go back to your browser and tap on Start Testing. When you do this, you'll bring up the Get Fit Mining page and you want to tap Accept and Install and Open. And then it brings up the From Developer and you'll tap Next and Start Testing. And now you are inside the Get Fit Mining app. Congratulations. The next thing we want to do is authorize Apple Health to share your physical activity data with Get Fit Mining so that you can mine for your tokens. So we want to tap on Authorize. And we want to turn on All. And then in the upper right hand corner, You'll tap Allow, and voila, you have now activated Apple Health to share your activity data with GetFit Mining. And as you can see here, we have 27 steps today. Now, if you want to verify that the right data is coming across your screen, go to the Health app, tap it. Go to Summary, scroll down to Steps, and you can see that there are 27 steps. To return back to Get Fit Mining, this is the little mining icon, or the Get Fit Mining uh, icon. And right next to it, you'll see Test Flight. Whenever there are updates in the Get Fit Mining app, you will get notified in Test Flight. You'll want to make sure that you always perform all of the updates.